All right, if you found this secret gem here, you are here on your own accord. This is an unlisted video on how to clean and skin a catfish. What you're gonna see is, according to YouTube, age-restricted. It's gruesome content. I've been doing gruesome stuff since I, good grief, since I can remember. Knee-high to a grasshopper, I've been cleaning fish, so I don't see the problem with it, but YouTube does. So, stick around for this episode. I'll teach you everything that, most everything I know about cleaning and skinning a catfish. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so now I'm gonna let you guys see how I clean catfish and a very easy, it's the only way I know how to clean them. Uh, the only other way that I, there is to clean them, you can have, uh, just put them on a board, hammer a nail straight through their head. That makes it a lot easier to skin them, but I've always just done it by hand. I've always done it over the side of the boat, but it's really dark outside, so I can't record that for you. So I'm doing it here in the basement, and I'm gonna show you how to clean catfish. And let me start off by saying I've already killed the fish and it's a real easy job. All you need is a hammer, a rock or something and just smash them right on the top of the head, right in the center between their eyeballs and lights out. It's a pretty quick process. So when cleaning catfish, you just need some very simple tools, a fillet knife. These are very cheap from any Walmart, Kmart, anywhere you go. These are very cheap knives but they're very good knives. They're very sharp. They're very good for filleting. You also want a sharpener. You want to sharpen your knife after every fish that you do. You want a very good pair of skinners. As you can see, those teeth do not line up. I don't know what's happened to this one, so these are not good skinners. I'm gonna have a hard time on this. So anyway, let's get down here and get to it. So as you can see, there's a little mark here on his head. I have whacked him with a hammer. He is dead, even though he's Trust me, he's dead. If he's not dead, he's brain dead and he doesn't know what's going on. So anyway, with your fillet knife, you'll notice right here between their side fin, you have this bone coming out right here. So you wanna start with the bone and come straight up to the top of their head. And when you're doing this, you do not wanna cut anything except for the skin. That's where a really sharp pair of, or a sharp knife comes into play. Here on the other side you have this bone here again you want to go on that bone right behind it and make a slice up to the head and keep in mind don't cut anything except for the skin otherwise you'll tear meat as you pull it down once you got those cut you want to cut on each side of the top fin If you do not cut around this top fin, it's very difficult to get the skin off there. Then you want to turn him over, and they, this pretty much tells you what you want, it wants to do. You can see how there's a V right here that runs from this point on up to here. So this is very critical when it comes to not cutting meat. All you want to do is cut skin. And watch your fingers and just bring it up to a point there and the same on the other side you want to go from that point all the way up to here and just make a V yeah I cut the meat so this one's gonna be a little bit difficult guaranteed so we'll leave that be for a while so you take your skinners and you grab a piece of skin and once you grab it you just start peeling back the bigger the fish the harder they are to skin As you can see I cut meat right here and that's why that's coming apart right there I promise you this fish does not have a brain so if you start tearing meat, go someplace else and start skinning some more. And now you can see how cutting around the top fin actually aids in skinning this. And 
here is what happens if you cut if you cut meat if you cut more than just the skin you start tearing the meat and then it becomes a problem because you start tearing meat up here uh, it's, it's a common mistake and it happens quite a bit work around that area and stay away from it and things will work itself out and then you just peel the pajamas right off of him so here is all of the skin that came off of him now you're left with the fish without the skin. Now this bone right here plays an important role all the way through there. Got some eggs in her. So you wanna go behind this bone and cut all the way up to their backbone. And the same on the other side. Cut all the way up to their backbone. Now again, depending on the size of the fish, the bigger the fish, the harder this is. But you wanna grab firmly a hold of the head and the back and twist. And at some point, that will come loose. It's, uh, it's a little bit difficult for me right now because I'm doing it on camera. I'm not in a location where I normally do it. So I'm trying to be quiet. And I'm trying to be smooth about it. So you twist the head off and it comes right off. Next thing you want to do is you want to stick your knife very close to the anal hole and cut straight up the middle. The next thing I prefer to do is take the bottom fin and rip it off. There's a lot of gristle that I am pulling away right there. The next thing you want to do... A lot of eggs. Yup. Is, uh... Anyway, yeah. The next thing you want to do is open the sides, take your skinners, try it and grab that anus, and pull just a little bit. And then once you get that, just keep working your skinners right along the inside of his backbone. And that is a completely clean fish. There are some people that prefer to take all of this dark meat off of here. It's not even meat, it's just a, a coating that's on the inside. A lot of people like to take that off. Uh, I just leave it as is look for any little fat pieces that are left over put those in the junk pile make sure you got everything and if you plan on putting this in a freezer it is a must that you take the top fin off because that is what will poke a hole bag when you're freezing it. So here you have a clean fish. Just run a little bit of water over it. Throw all of your trash in a plastic bag. Uh, either do it close to trash day. What I do with mine, I throw, if I'm at home cleaning fish, I'll throw it in a bag, I'll wrap it up in three or four different bags, I'll throw it in the freezer, and wait until trash day until then. Uh, most of the time, actually all the time, I clean these at the lake while I'm fishing, so that all of this just becomes fish food. So anyways, this is how I skin and clean catfish. Fish, fish, fish. Heads, eat them up, yum. Yeah, YouTube won't let us put that Fish, <laughs> heads, fish, heads. I don't know, maybe one of those things, if you do post the video, it'd have to be like a...
18 and can you make it 18 and older or whatever? Well, I was going to make this a private video. Oh, yeah. Unlisted. Yeah. And but, just link it in the uh -huh. description. Yeah. Yes, I'm an egg. Yeah, yeah. My dad used to fucking deep fry those. Really? Gross, gross, gross. And bluegill and shit. I'm sure if you've watched one of my other videos, you've seen how to fillet a catfish but i'm going to go over that quickly again while i have this here if you don't want to throw this whole thing in a bag or if you don't want to deep fry a whole fish like this this is very easy if you can see right here there's a piece of meat right here this is their backbone even though it's meat their backbone is right there what you want to do is put your fillet knife right on the side of that cut straight down to their rib bones and you'll feel those it feels just like a zipper you want to go until you don't feel those anymore, cut all the way through, leave your fillet knife right on their back, and that'll run right out the back. And then you want to take it over here, put your fillet knife up against their rib, and just run that knife on down, following those ribs. You want to fill up here at the top for any bone because this is their neck area so there will be some bone up here sometimes but anyways look at that healthy filet gosh that's going to be such a good dinner for someone reach around here take off that belly meat same thing on the other side again go on this side of their backbone just go down fill those ribs like a zipper I'm doing that just so you can hear it uh, you'll feel it but you'll also hear it but yep just feel all those rib bones cut all the way through stay against the backbone and run him on out like I say I might have missed a missed a little piece right there but no big deal and then again you just want to carve right around those ribs Without cutting that belly meat and when I say look out for bones in here here's a, a piece that's left over from the neck bones are no good when you're eating fish so leave that behind again look at that slab that is just beautiful fresh 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 catfish this would be so good in the skillet right now mm. And again, just cut that belly meat off, a little chunk of healthiness. And that is how, a full in-depth of how to clean and fillet a catfish. So now Andy has a great <coughs> supper for tomorrow night. I appreciate everybody sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the video. We got five catfish tonight. Uh, so anyway, he has four catfish for dinner. Got them all skinned up and cleaned out. I hope you enjoyed that part of it. Hope we don't get demonetized or get a strike on us for that. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out.